What's up YouTube? It's James coming back at you with another informative video. And I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful warm Tuesday. Doing well myself. Come across this particular story right here where you have 36 year old Zooming Lee of Oxford Place in Temple Palms. Okay? And uh, Zooming Lee lives in a, a condo complex, you understand, and became irritated I guess by the neighbors, the noise, the music or whatever. So what does he do? Well, let's find out. Check this out. All right, new tonight here at 10 o'clock, a pretty incredible story of a family of three wondering why their baby daughter kept getting sick and why they had a strange odor in their home. Was it their apartment? Was it the water? Well, when they saw this, a man injecting some sort of chemical through the bottom of their door into their home they knew their lives could be in jeopardy. Fox of Change Jenny Lewis is here with us in studio tonight with this story. Uh, Janae, uh, we're speechless here. Yeah, it's hard to watch that video and not feel any other way. The family says the excitement they had of moving into their new home quickly turned into terror, and you saw why. As fr a frustrated neighbor took his concerns too far, now they're afraid to be inside that very home. It is. It is extremely scary. Umar Abdullah says it's very difficult to talk about the last few months. He says it started with complaints from a downstairs neighbor over noise. So after my daughter was born in August last year, um, his complaint, like footstep complaint, door closing. But escalated to this. I installed a hidden camera outside because we were suspecting someone is basically tampering our place mm -hmm. from outside. And then we caught our neighbor injecting something mm -hmm. through our door. He says a friend noticed an unusual chemical odor in their home in May. They checked the appliances, hoping to determine the source of the smell, but couldn't. A month later, Umar says his eyes started to burn and his daughter was coughing and throwing up. He says the smell had returned, so he checked the water heater nearby, finding a strong odor. I was bending down. I sniffed all to that place. and then... After replacing it, Umar says the odor and discomfort returned. This is when he set up the hidden camera. On June 27th, I found that uh, our neighbor is coming with a syringe. You know, he's pulling something from a vial and then he's injecting through our entry door. Entry door. If we could not have found that incident uh, on the camera, probably after a few days, we might have been just dead. He called police and records show Zooming Lee was arrested and charged with multiple counts of battery and possession of a controlled substance. The report identified him as a USF student. A spokesperson from USF says he is no longer enrolled as of this summer. He was a PhD student in the chemistry department. If people use their uh, knowledge, this extreme knowledge to harm people, I mean, they can be even more dangerous. Umar says he was told Zooming is in the process of relocating, but they're still very uneasy, never Ooh, thinking their home would become a place they now fear. I can never expect a neighbor, I mean, I can never imagine to expect expect something like that happen to anyone. I, I wish no one else would have to go through a situation like this ever in their life. Omar says several agencies are now investigating, waiting for final lab reports to determine the exact substance that was injected, but he says they were hazardous chemicals. The family is hoping to relocate, but as we report all the time, housing isn't the easiest to find right now. In the studio, Janine Lewis, Fox 13 News. Okay, so, zooming Lee, you must be tired of living. You dumb bastard. Prepare to die. Ha! You understand? <laughs> Look, this guy right here should be brought up on charges for a hate crime. There was absolutely no reason that would justify for him to inject harsh, dangerous chemicals that was tested and it came out to be methadone and hydrocodone, okay? <clears throat> and breathing these chemicals in um, hosts a whole entire list of nasty side effects. Skin irritations, heart palpitations, breathing, I mean a lot of things that you you just wouldn't want to have to deal with, you understand? So this man right here knew full well what he was doing and far as I'm concerned, hey, this is attempted murder, you understand? That's basically what it all boils down to. But nevertheless, uh, this guy actually <laughs> pleaded not guilty and he's right here on camera 
you see him right on camera coming to this people, these people's door, his neighbors, injecting these chemicals underneath the door. Yen still, he says he's not guilty. You see, you want to talk about privilege. They always talking about um, anti hate crime bills against for Asians. What about the hate crimes that they're committing against people? As in this particular situation right here, all because of noise he heard coming from the apartment. You almost killed his man's child right here. You could have killed one of them with them breathing this stuff right here. See, but I guess we're supposed to overlook that. That's just what it is, though. In today's society, uh, you have people of the criminal element that happens to think that they can do whatever it is they want to do to somebody else without any consequences or repercussions behind it. That's what it all boils down to. They do not weigh the consequences for their actions if they are caught. So I say to them people, if you're caught, harsh I mean harsh consequences of what you what you deserve to get. You understand? And that's just what it is. The crime should fit the bill for whatever you did. The consequences should fit you. You understand? That's all I got on this one, people. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this situation right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts and views on it in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.